I know you said two home runs in a simulated game doesn't count. Does, does this count? <laughs> this doesn't count either. <laughs> um, I think they count like in April, April 7th. Uh, so, you know, I'm happy with the progress, my swing and everything, but uh, still a lot of work to go. Uh, this team is uh, it's a good team, and uh, I think uh, if we take it one day at a time and keep improving and keep working every day, uh, we'll have a lot of games like this. What does I mean? Does it do anything for you though to have success early on in spring? For me, uh, not personally, not really. Uh, this is something that I know I can do as a player. Um, I've done it in the past. Um, I kind of got away from it last year, uh, but it, it is um, a tiny bit gratifying that I am able to come out here and help the team put up runs and uh, play play good on defense as well. So something I worked extremely hard for. Um, it's not surprising or shocking, uh, but. Uh, I, I definitely do take pride in, uh, in in the work I did put in. Tom, what's the things you're working on at the plate right now? Uh, it's just continuous to uh, continuously trying to just hit the ball hard and uh, get the ball in the air, and that's something that I didn't do last year, um, especially playing in the corners, uh, left field, first base. Um, you know, you need some power there, and uh, I kind of didn't have as much power as I as I had in my past, so. Um, it's something I really wanted to work on, like I said, swinging at good pitches, not chasing too much, and then uh, just putting a good even swing on it, and that's what I've been able to do the last couple of days. With the work you did on your own over the past couple of weeks, where are you to where you normally feel on March 20th or whatever it is right now? Uh, I mean, this is probably the best I've felt in any spring training I've ever been in. Uh, Why is that? Uh, it's just because I've started, I started so early last offseason. Um, I started as soon as the season ended. Um, I was breaking down my swing um, in October. So um, that's something that I had never done before. Um, and I think I have a really good idea on how my swing works and how it should work. Um, and that's something that in the past I, I kind of knew, but now I, I know. So I'm um, just having that confidence on uh, the way I work every morning when I go in and I do my routine, I'm working with a purpose. Um, so all those things combined, it just makes me confident in the, confident in the box, and it helps me uh, have the success that I've been having. So, so you're saying that work that you did added up to so you, you feel like you know your swing as well? Hundred percent, hundred percent. I think uh, at the end of the day, um, as hitters, uh, we are our best hitting coach, and uh, we need to learn our swing and the way um, our body moves, uh, especially playing at the highest level. So. I think uh, going back to the drawing board, doing a ton of homework and uh, learning how my body moves and uh, why I should be making certain moves um, is helping me, like I said, going up into the box and compete every day. How did you do that? Was it video? Is it something more? Were you working with a, a hitting coach? Or yeah, just a ton of video. And then obviously you got to compare your swings to some of the best players in the game. So I watched a lot of uh, Big Poppy. I watched a lot of Miguel Cabrera. I watched a lot of uh, Mike Trout. and. Uh, Obviously, they're all different hitters. Uh, they all have different setups, but it's certain little things that they do. That's why they're successful. So um, I think just watching those hitters, how they move, um, and then adding what I do well, and then trying to move similar to those guys, um, I think that's the reason why, like I said, I'm able to do what I do. As you're comparing your swing to those guys you mentioned earlier, what's maybe one thing that, that they did that you wanted to do better, that you wanted to do more like that? Just stay on my legs more. Um, you know, they do a great job of holding the ground and getting into their back hip. And that's something that uh, I, I wasn't able to do a lot um, last year. Um, I was very jumpy in my swing, um, and that w that's what caused me to chase a lot of pitches. So um, being able to hold the ground, now I'm able to recognize pitches better. And then when I do get a mistake, I'm able to drive the ball. So. Um, that's something that they, the best hitters do. I mean, people think you hit with your hands, but you actually hit with your legs. And if your legs are in a good position, then you'll be able to have consistency. So um, the best hitters are always on balance. And uh, I've just been trying to work on my balance, and I feel like I'm in a good spot. I think it's, uh, I think it's just fun. Like, I think uh, bringing in all these guys, it just brings the best out of each player. Um, it, it's perfectly fun and fine to have that type of competition in camp and I think we just push each other to play well play hard and uh, whether it's JD Robbie me Pete whoever it may be whoever's hitting in that box when we're in the dugout we're one team and we're pushing each other to help each other win and that's why we're all here we're here to win games so uh, when we're on the bench or playing uh, we're trying to find ways to help the team win um, so we're just trying to push each other to to be that great player and be the great players that we know that we are